Hello, assalamualaikum. Welcome back to another video. I'm so happy to see you guys here again. Um, and before we get into anything, I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in again and again and again and continue to watch these videos and coming along this journey with me. Um, I'm so grateful and so thankful for you guys. And I thank you so much for being here. So for today's video, we are going to practice a little bit of self-care because I feel like even though this is Ramadan and I know everything is about getting closer to Allah and all of those type of things, and that's great. But inevitably in getting closer to Allah, you ultimately end up getting closer to yourself. And especially if you are um, like myself, no shame if you aren't, but if you're staying away from movies and music and you know having outings and you're just trying to concentrate and focus, that can bring up so many real, so many raw emotions. So I feel like it's very important to check in with yourself, to reaffirm yourself, um, and to just practice as much self-care as you can. Because one thing about Ramadan, I'm not into the culture of it being a race. Of like, okay, let me go, 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 go. No. Because you end up going hard for this 30 days. By the end of the 30 days, you're burnt out. And you were focused so much on rather than building habits on just doing things for these 30 days that when the month is over you go back to your regularly scheduled programming i am more so the type of person that likes to believe you are not doing something for 30 days but rather you are using these 30 days to build habits that you will sustain and maintain for the rest of the year for the next 10 years for the rest of your life hopefully and i feel like in that is a lot of self-care before we get into all that i do want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by skinstore.com and they were lovely enough to send me over an array of products from their new clean beauty section the new clean beauty category is a guide to mindful wellness as their products do contain clean ingredients they're sustainable cruelty free vegan and made of recyclable materials clean beauty category is here to help your beauty awareness journey every step of the way so i'm definitely going to be going through my whole skincare process uh and i'm going to be showing you guys every product that i'm using you guys are going to watch me use it um and i'm going to tell you what the product is good for now for like my skincare routine we are going to use a routine this is compiled by la beautyologist if you don't follow her on youtube or twitter you definitely should she's definitely giving me some amazing tips that have definitely helped me so yes i believe the first step is to cleanse and the first thing that we have for that is the pie light work rose hip fruit extract cleansing oil this is what it looks like it says this product is infused with an uplifting scent of basil orange geranium lime and jasmine essential oils the rdn rose hip oil powered cleanser leaves your senses invigorated in your skin soft supple radiant and protected from daily stressors i've never i have to admit i've never oil cleansed before um but i've heard a lot about it so i'm excited and i have like a nice bowl of warm water right here to get through all of this so let's get started forgive me if you see me squinting the girls already know i cannot see without my glasses let me wet my face. Whew. That feels so good. My hands are already clean, by the way, so don't try and come for me. Okay, let's do that over the bowl. Okay. It smells amazing, but I know this is good for removing like oil plugs, getting through those impurities. Even though I don't um, wear makeup, I do wear a pretty good SPF. And I know sometimes the cleanser can have trouble um, getting through that. Mm. This feels so good. But yeah. We are already halfway through Ramadan. I cannot believe it has been two weeks already. 
this year definitely feels much better than last year um and i'm happy about that but this year definitely still feels like i'm lacking and i'm making sure to check in with myself every day um and to be gentle with myself and to remind myself that i'm doing this in the middle of a pandemic and there's no deed that is too small in the eyes of the law um so some days are really good some days i'm really proud of myself i'm really proud of what i'm accomplishing what i'm doing all of that and some days i'm just like oh beating myself up i just can't believe it all of that but through it all i just pray that a lot is satisfied with me a lot is satisfied with what i'm doing a lot is satisfied with how i'm doing it and that it's just working out you know but how are you guys practicing self-care during this month i know i was just thinking yesterday i want to go to the spa so bad like i feel like fasting and being at the spa would just oh would just be lovely would just be so lovely but because I can't do that, I do things like this. Do a whole skincare routine or um, I'll take naps, I'll stretch. I haven't been able to yet because it's been so cold, but I'd like to go for a walk one of these days. You know, something like that to really just give myself maximum care during this month. But let's take this off. I already do see oil plugs and things like that. So that's a good sign. We have our cloth here. I'm sorry, I'm looking at a mirror right here. Mm, that feels so good. That feels amazing. Yes, I feel fresher already. I feel invigorated. I feel brand new already. And that didn't like burn or anything. You know how sometimes with new products they'll burn and all that, that did not burn at all. And I believe the next step is to tone. So we have the Rin Clean Skin Care Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. The Radiance Reviving Toner sweeps effortlessly over skin to eliminate dull surface cells and minimize the appearance of visible pores gentle enough for daily use you can expect a smooth fresh and clarified complexion without irritation i'm excited for this okay so i don't use alcohol pads with my toner i prefer to just rub them into the skin Ooh. okay mm -hmm. that's a little spicy that's a little spicy, but that's to expect with new toners, especially after you have just cleansed. Mm. I feel like after a long day of fasting, this is just what I need. And I wish, like, don't you wish that you could have somebody else to do your skincare? I feel like everything is just so much better when somebody else does it like you know you can do your own hair but it's a whole different experience when you get your hair done you know what i mean it's just like ooh, ooh la la okay we have oil cleansed we have toned and i believe the next step is to exfoliate and for that we have the ren clean skincare radiance micro polish cleanser this is another product that is good for makeup users but 
I hear that it also works for non-makeup users. It gently uh, exfoliates the skin and leaves it clear without being a rough exfoliant. Let's try it. Okay, interesting. Let me gently wet my face again. Okay, put a little bit. Okay, it's a little interesting texture. Mmm, it smells like berries. It definitely is super gentle. Oh, we love that. But yeah, definitely practicing as much self-care as you can while you are connecting to Allah is the best. Like, I don't know why regular things that I do hit so different when I'm fasting. Like a, a nap in my regular life. It's like, ooh yeah. But a nap while I'm fasting is like, ooh yeah. Oh yeah. And I definitely think while you're getting your spiritual wellness, to get your emotional wellness and your mental wellness and everything else. Because what better time? Especially since during Ramadan, you have all the extra time on your hands to be doing everything that you want to be doing. So why not get a massage? So after this step, I definitely prefer for my skin to air dry because I feel like it just feels so much better but my skin definitely feels amazing and that product also did not burn but while we're letting this dry let me go get a new bowl of water but this is also a great opportunity to ask yourself and I talked about this in my last vlog because I'm so secluded especially with quarantine and everything like that so many things boil to the surface for me and I know I'm not the only one but this is a great time to ask yourself are you taking care of yourself are you and I think Ramadan really makes you realize that you are not you are not when you don't have access to your coping mechanisms when you're not indulging in your coping mechanisms, when you can't just eat it away or shop it away or sleep it away or any of that, you realize just how neglectful we are of ourselves. And it's like, to a certain degree, I understand. We're in this capitalistic society that has us on this rat race, but every single moment that you have to free yourself and escape and take care of yourself, never miss an opportunity to do so. If Allah has given you the resources to do that, Do it. And there's no better time than right now, even though we're halfway through, there's no better time to begin building the habit of taking care of yourself. And it doesn't have to be something big. That doesn't mean, you know, you're scheduling massages and waxes and facials and all of that every day. But that means something as simple as asking yourself every morning or every night, how are you doing today? What's wrong today? What can make your day better? What is it that you want, that you have been afraid to go get, that you now know that you need? What can you do to make your life easier? What can you do to lighten the load? How can you work smarter and not harder? And there's no better time to set that standard for yourself than right now. Because while the law is taking care of you, you should also be taking care of yourself. I ain't trying to tell nobody what to do, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, but let's go on to the next step in our skincare, and I believe that is to tone again. So we're going to go back in with our Ren Clean Skincare Ready Steady Glow Daily AJ Tonic. Mm. Okay, so the next step that we have is a mask, and for this one we tried the Pie Curtain Call rose hip and strawberry leaf brightening mask it said it helps with soothing hydrating improving elasticity this rose hip fueled rescuer boosts tired skin leaving it radiant and dewy in 10 minutes your complexion is audience ready 
take a bow. Oh, it comes with an organic dual effect sensitive skin cloth. Okay, so we have to get our mask applier. Just so we can put this on. Let me quickly, it says apply a generous amount. It's not, what is a generous amount? <laughs> feels so good now we're gonna move on to our toning step again so after we have toned again we're going to use the skin and company truffle therapy reconstructing truffle eye contour concentrate this is good for any dark under eye circles or any puffiness and i definitely have dark circles from my lack of sleep why is it lack of sleep because it is lack of self-care but for the last part of this because i believe after this we're just gonna tone um and then moisturize again but for the last part of this i really love for myself and for others to get in the habit of affirming ourselves and to get in the habit of knowing that we are worthy and deserving. And again, what better time to make that known than during Ramadan? So a part of the affirmations that I say as a woman of worry as a woman of great anxiety is don't worry Nadira don't worry Allah got it don't worry Allah has it Allah has it Allah has promised you that he got you you will be tested but Allah has it do your part in ensuring that <clears throat> you are worshiping you are improving you are growing but most of all do your part in believing do your part in knowing that you are deserving and worthy of a good life. You are deserving and worthy <clears throat> of time and resources to self-care. You are deserving and worthy of the luxurious things that you imagine for yourself. You are deserving and worthy of a good life. Despite tests, despite hardships, you are deserving and worthy of a good time of a good time of a genuinely happy cheerful life and though happy times may come they may not last they will come again and again and again and again for the rest of your days and it's important to remind yourself because sometimes we get so wrapped up in our own lives that we forget Allah said he got us so don't even worry about it don't even worry about where it's coming from don't even worry about how it's gonna get there you just create the space in your life in your heart in your spirit in your mind for the things that you ask for to come boom so don't forget to take a moment to do some self-care, to really appreciate yourself, to really love on yourself, to really do what needs to be done to make sure that you are taken care of. And pray and let Allah take care of the rest. So for the final step 
of our process. Um, we have the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum from First Aid Beauty. It replenishes, smooths, and softens skin, and it is safe for sensitive skin. So this is the last thing that I'm going to put on tonight. I don't know if people normally do, but I don't put on a moisturizer at night um, because I feel like my serums are doing enough. Mm, okay. That feels good, like a jelly. Okay, a little bit of spice. That's okay, sometimes that can happen with new products. So take this time to really take in how you're doing, how your Ramadan is going, to remind yourself no matter how much time has passed, you still have time to remind yourself that you are deserving and worthy of this Ramadan. To remind yourself that though things may have been difficult and things may become difficult again, that it's okay. Allah is going to take care of you. Allah is going to hold true to his promises. And it is your job to hold true to yours. Take this time to do some stretching, do some yoga, do some journaling, do some reading. Do some eating, drink some water, hydrate, do your skin care, get snuggled up in bed and get ready for your nap. Any of that that you need to do, this is the time to do it. Take care of yourself, be a person of prayer and let Allah take care of the rest. Do not try to control anything that is outside of your control. Do not try to have anything that does not want to be had by you. Trust your intuition, trust your gut, listen to yourself. And do what you need to do. Do what it is that you need to do. And know that you are loved and you are worthy of a life, of a family, of friends that are kind and caring and loving, that value you, that appreciate you. And you are someone that is worthy of being celebrated. And whatever self-care looks like to you, this is the time to do it. Whatever luxury is to you, this is the time to live luxuriously. Remember the law would not have gave you a heart that desired luxury if Allah had no intention of giving you luxury. Mm, I feel amazing. Now, lastly, before I go, um, the skin score did send me over another product. However, because it is nighttime, I will not be using this tonight, but I will be using it in the morning and it's the Ren Clean Skin Care Ever Calm Gentle Cleansing Milk. This is a gentle cleansing milk with a multi-action formula that fights environmental aggressors increases skin resilience and minimizes the signs of irritation and sensitivity that can lead to visible premature aging. So yes, that is all for tonight. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Do not forget to go and take care of yourselves and take care of your loved ones. Um, and to make the most of this next few days of Ramadan, do not forget that once Allah has deemed you as worthy, it is not your place to deem yourself as unworthy. Thank you so much to SkinStore.com for sponsoring this video. Do not forget to click the links down below. If there's any products that you're interested in, if there's any products that you would like to read more about, and definitely shop their clean beauty section. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Assalamu alaikum.